today I'm going to be attempting to install this 5% window tint on my truck and we're also going to find out if you guys should pay the full price for window tint or if you guys should attempt it yourself. I've never done this before so this is a true beginner's guide. Enjoy the vid. Right, so guys, so today we're going to be trying to tint the uh, truck with Walmart tint. It's only $7 here. I don't know why but uh, yeah. We're going to go to AutoZone, we're going to get the application kit and then we're going to install it. Alrighty guys, so I picked up this tint from Walmart for $7, and then I picked up this from Advanced Auto Parts Store. Um, you can get the Walmart kit. Our Walmart did not have it though, so we had to get this one. This was about 15 bucks. So in total, we spent about 20 to $25. But, um, and then you're gonna need a tape measure and some sort of Sharpie or marker that will show up on the tint. Not 100% sure if this will show up on the tint, but hopefully it does. And then we're gonna use this X-Acto knife and we're gonna cut it to size. First, we're gonna roll it out. We're gonna put it over the window, like right here, and then we're gonna cut it to close to the size. And then after that, we'll do a precision cut with the marker and stuff, but yeah. Alrighty guys, so I took everything out of that package. So we do have this. This is what you're gonna use when you put on the window tint. This is a squeegee, so we can get all the air bubbles out. This is to cut the tint. And then this is to wipe it, the window, I'm pretty sure. But first of all, I just had this extra spray bottle laying around, so I just filled it up with normal water. And then now I'm just going to spray off this window because my truck is really dirty, as you can see. So I'm just going to spray off around the window and inside of it and just make sure the whole area is clean. Just so if the tint accidentally sticks to anything, it doesn't get all dirty. And we're just going to clean off all up here because you can see all the mud and stuff. So just all around your window. You guys also want to make sure that you clean off all of this right here and make sure it's all clean before you roll back up the window. Alrighty, guys. So I just cut this film to three foot and three inches. So that's about the size that it is. It's about three foot from there to there. So I just cut a little bit extra. Power Stroke Central gave me this idea. So shout out to him. Uh, everybody go view his channel. He gave me this idea. I watched one of his videos from a long time ago and I seen it and I thought, why not? Because I mean, I don't feel like getting an expensive tint job, job done on this crappy window anyway, because this window doesn't need to be replaced. Cause as you guys can see, you can barely see through it anyway. So yeah, shout out to Power Stroke Central. But um, now we are gonna line up the window tint and then we're gonna take the yellow marker. So we're gonna line up the tint, take this yellow marker, mark it up, and then we're gonna cut it from there and then we can take it to the inside and use this stuff right here. And then we can try to apply it. Hopefully this doesn't go wrong. Um, it's my first time ever doing this. So I will show you guys the failures if anything goes wrong. Hopefully it doesn't, but uh, yeah. Alrighty guys, so I'm just wiping this off right now. I'm trying to get all the bubbles out of here. Um, the cut that I did do is pretty bad. So uh, we're gonna have to like fix up the edges, but as you can see, we're trying to get all the bubbles out of here. As you guys can see, I messed up the cut in this corner right here, but no big deal. Um, I'm just gonna continue to cut it. We're gonna set the tin right here for a second, you guys. So I know with tint, you're supposed to start from the top, but we're gonna start from the bottom because we have extra on the top. I'm gonna start by getting these bubbles out up here. I'm gonna get this top part done for you guys. And then once you do that, we're gonna roll up the window a little bit. So then, uh, be the bottom half. So as a first timer doing this, this is super hard. <laughs> um, I mean, $25, I mean, uh, not bad. <laughs> it's definitely not easy. Well, not as easy as it looks. All right, so as you guys can see, this is what the tin looks like. It's not the best, like I said, this is the first time I ever did this, so don't roast me in the comments. Obviously it looks foggy, that's because my window's already scratched, but this is what it would look like if you didn't have scratches. As you can see, there is little tiny bubbles everywhere, but honestly, nothing too bad. I did mess up the cut here, and the window is not all the way up right now because obviously I'm letting this cure right now because when I roll up the window, it's messing it up. So we're gonna let this sit for a few. It is perfect because the sun is out, so it's kind of like expanding it or whatever. I don't know, whatever, but the heat is helping it for sure. Get all these little bubbles out. But um, yeah, like I said, doesn't look too bad for the first time. So if you guys are going to do this, here's the window tin right here. Um, I, I don't know if I'd recommend it. I mean, for the first time I ever did it, not bad at all. I'm thinking about doing a sun strip next, but I might get that professionally done. But here's my double 5% compared to this normal 5 This is actual 5% done by a tint shop right here compared to this as you can see it's a little bit purplish instead of black which i mean you can't really tell from the outside from the outside it looks pretty good it looks black as you guys can see and it definitely makes the truck look a whole lot better and you can't really see through that window at all so that's good obviously these scratches but that's gonna be like that so 
overall not too bad just a little bit purple i guess but uh yeah the first time i didn't do too bad i don't think there's a little bit of bubbles but uh nothing too crazy i'm not really too sure what i'm gonna do about this top right here you guys can see it's folding over once i roll up the window you guys can see i did not do too good of a job down here didn't line up and then over here the cut was pretty bad but honestly overall for the first time not too disappointed i mean obviously the cuts are pretty bad but we can see it from the outside let's look at it from the outside it's hardly noticeable you can obviously see a little bit and right there that's not good but honestly from afar you're not gonna be able to tell that it's walmart tint so honestly i'd give this probably a 9 out of 10 depending on user error yeah the top not good at all so i'm gonna have to work on this i'm gonna probably spray some water back there and squeegee it up and see what happens i be starting a membership on this channel so if you guys want to join the membership you'll get like exclusive videos and exclusive merch because i might come out with merch soon let me know if you guys want merch um i'm 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 in the process of making merch. I don't know if you guys really want it, so comment down below. Leave a like on this video. Let me know if you guys really want it, and uh, yeah, I'll make sure to make it happen. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.